five, four, three, two. Freedom! Harry, tell me to Let's go. Shizzy with the Xbox here. Link, L1, the philosopher. I'm here with... It's astronaut H, man. I'm here. Let's get right into it, man. Uh, man, we on episode nine. Can't knock the hustle. Fresh and knock the hustle. Say fresh pen. Sorry, Bel Air. Bel Air. Bel Air. The fallout from episode six, man. What happened? Uh, the show. The, the, I don't even know how long we'll talk about the show. It should be real with you because this is, episode. Yeah, yeah. For me personally, I'm gonna keep it real. Like I don't know. It was great. It was great. I don't want you to get confused. It was, it was a great episode. Okay. Uh, it's how it flowed. That's like. I don't even know, like telling the scene by scene even gives it justice how it flew. I really, I really, like, I like really just talking think, about the subject matters. I don't, but I, re- let, I really but, think people should like with this particular episode, yeah, like it's, because it's so like this episode. I was watching it, right? Let me tell you like this, right? I'm watching, I'm like, yo, this episode is like really good. Like it's yeah. it's so this episode was so good to the point it's like, yo, like. I don't think those episodes that I said was good was it was good because th- that's how good this episode was. Yeah, in a way, it was like scene for scene. It, it wasn't, I guess, an easy way to break down scene for scene to appreciate it. You have to you appreciate the whole how they listen. So so the show starts. Um, yeah, we getting I, I think the fallout right right because the last episode I think the last thing was Will talking to Jeffrey. Um, so we get this episode. Will and Jeffrey's in the room because on um, Will is getting ready to go to church. <laughs> I mean, praise God. Well, you don't, yeah, but yeah. they open it up, Will. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah, he's, he's, he's getting fixing his tie. You don't know what's going on right yeah. now. And right next to Will, like they got a nice little picture of Will Chamberlain. Will right Chamberlain. There. That joke was Phil- that a Philly reference. Yeah, I like I like that. I think I'm like, I'm like oh, that's my man, Will. Yeah. So, um, so after like um, Jeffrey helps him with his tie because Will, he don't know what he's doing. Right? He, but he butchers the tie. He butchers exactly. The tie. He's looking trash. Jeffrey hooks him up. And then I um he that's he bring who brings up the father? It, it's well, Jeffrey, he says, no, Will brings well, he up. says Will hurry up. He 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 reminds him to hurry up. Your uncle Phil, you know, needs you to, you know, put some today more, is, put some more pep in your step. Today is very important. <laughs> yeah. Right. So he he explains to him, like, all right, they go back and forth about Will's dad situation. So they go a little in depth right there at that scene. Yeah. So that's that carries on throughout the episode, of course. Yes, and um, and right we go right to the uh, dining room kitchen. I'm assuming. Well, we downstairs. We yeah, downstairs we downstairs, and, downstairs they show- and they all getting ready. Nope, don't don't eating something heavy before church. They, they will sh- try yeah, and get something show- to eat. Yeah, they, like, they well, show uh, at the Aunt apple. Viv, Aunt mm-hmm. Viv and mm-hmm. Ashley. We ain't gonna talk about the glory. And then rib. What, oh, they're like, <laughs> will you look handsome? I'm like, okay. So they pan the camera over. Carlton, you look handsome. Yeah, okay. Man. Man. You know we gotta wait. You know we gotta wait on Hillary. She yeah. always late. Exactly. She always late. But you can't get mad at the lateness. Listen, Hillary comes in. Devil in the what Kanye say? Devil in the mm, red, red dress. dress. Mm. Bro, oh, she man, looking this good. Is, this next level right there. Her, her, we, her, go her dress was a little too. I was thinking For that church. too. Hey, I was thinking that For too. Church. I was like, God. <laughs> But church, God. I'm like, that but, is a little skimpy. Yeah, but well, uh, uh, but you know what? Out of that scene, that really, really, I paid attention to was when they all was together and they all was about to walk out together. I want a picture, and it was like it was on some black church family, yeah, like looked- style, like. Like Phil was like, man, I'm just, I just want to like take this little moment to realize like how blessed we really are and how you know we coming together as a family and they like, amen, and won't he do it? I'm like, yes, he will. <laughs> that wasn't talking like that the first couple nah, episodes. No, nah, like y'all was drunk in the first couple this episodes. This is like Easter Sunday. Yeah, Will was just <laughs> sinning two episodes ago. Like, yeah. <laughs> Listen, so, I'm sitting there, so I'm like, all right, cool. But they go to church, though. Well, we do find out in the scene, Carlton can sing, right? Um, they, they say Carlton can so sing. He's so doing, Carlton's the solo. doing a solo. And then um, apparently he's so good, uh, Uncle Phil's like, he's nervous. Like, hey, man, don't. Don't outshine me. You know what I mean? So we get all that before they head to the church. Yes. Now, I ain't going to lie. Like like H said, when they walk, when they all was together. Black family. Look, Black family. It looked look so beautiful. And things times like that made Phil just look like. 
I'm blessed. Stand up, stand up down. I'm blessed. I'm, I'm blessed. You know what I mean? So let's Probably go with in the church parking lot. I mean, ready to get into church and everything and everybody yeah. meeting up with everybody. Yeah. I mean, you seen the reverend and everything and Uncle Phil come right about the campaign. He, you know, hey. Um. I ain't going to lie. Let me say this, though. <laughs> go ahead. Whoever was the, whoever thought it was a good idea for Phil to wear that hat. Oh, you don't rock with the hat? Y'all did. Wardrobe was terrible oh. for him to wear that hat. That hat was not well, it. it's, it's the type I'm, of head he got that he, he doesn't yeah, look in that type his of hat. hat his, but he was okay. Like, he you, was okay. Link, it was whoever high, did bro. wardrobe and decided oh, for don't... him to wear that. He looked like the planter's peanut man. Yo, Lee. Like, yo, that hat wasn't right. All right I got in the background and I mean, like, yo, hey, you, it wasn't right. I ain't gonna lie. You I ain't gonna lie. You you disgust him for that, bro. You, you, you should feel ashamed. Nigga, it so. wasn't don't right. Don't do that. Don't do that, black brother, like that. All right. I'm not I'm, you, right, you right. acting like you acting like Fred Wilkes right now, brother. I'm gonna tell the black man down. All right. No, all right. No. Let's talk. All right, but, let's talk hold on, about- but this is what I want to say. This is a little selfish part here. Uh okay. I forgot the um, the the other girl who who does social media Hillary ran into outside. Well, I even right? Carucci, yeah, yeah, that's Carucci, right. that's right. that's Carucci. Right. Yeah, so she like, oh, what's up? And she bringing up how many? Um, I don't know how many followers Hillary got now, but she's nowhere they near, the, they nowhere near the ten that million, scene. but nowhere yeah. near the ten million mark. Ten point two, ten yeah, so, point two. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So she, so, <laughs> so she was saying to her like, hey, you know, maybe we should collab on something. And she, you know, you saw that, you know that face H with somebody, with somebody here yourself. But like, yo, yo, you think I could jump on that? You give them that. You give them that Jay, that Jay Z, bro. Jay Z. I, like, I mean, I played it so you could hear it. I didn't. Yeah, I don't, you ain't nah. <laughs> but let's talk. Let's talk about like. I want to talk about. Like, but I want to talk about Will being trying to trying to shoot a shot real quick. Oh, I could. Uh, what they all, they all was like intro. Uh, it was like I, that I know, scene but was, it was that funny. moment, right? Yeah, that well, moment Carlton was, was kinda, like, "What are you doing, bro?" <laughs> no, it was kind of like funny because it was like, yeah, "All right, uh, uh, Phil was like, all right, we gotta go." And then yeah. everybody is kind of like introducing and saying hi to yeah. Ivy, and I'm like, the, "Yeah, in the way, do y'all Will, know like, her? Do y'all don't know her? Exactly. Then know, Will, Will definitely like, he should he should be like, "Hey, uh, I'm Will, Will Smith, Will, yeah. of course. Will Will don't know her." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carl, like, come on, bro. He like, man. Yeah. But but then but they wait, said no, they go to the church. Oh, something happened. Wait, though, no, before they get in the church, let's talk about yeah, how Will was yeah. trying to Will was trying to conjure out of Carlton his singing style. He's oh, like, man, yeah, yeah. What you what? sound like? You sound like boys to men. He's like a Philly. <laughs> like, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Little Nate, who you like? He's like, now nah, I got my own style. Yeah, I do my own so thing, I'm like, bro. Like, that made me nervous. Yeah. When somebody. When somebody can tell you they sing, right? And they got their But own. they say they own style. You're like, it makes bro, me instantly a... nervous. Because there's a million singers that have been on this planet, and no style is original. It's nothing new under the sun. So when somebody like, tell you, I don't sound really like nobody, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> like, now, now I'm, I'm worried. I'm more concerned for me than you. Like, <laughs> my ears, like, my ears. I'm more concerned for me now. Like, at least you'd be like, I got a soulful sound. I'm like, Okay, right, I, I can at least go. Yeah, I got Beverly. a little baritone. Okay, right. but now you a little a little Luther. You, 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 you Luther, big Luther, a little Luther. Which one are you? He about to yeah. go up there, basically. So you go up there and freestyle. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> they get they get into the church. Um, they get, they get in the church. States. The church looks beautiful. Wait, no. Don't forget, Will talks exactly. to Carlton about the dad situation. First. Yeah, that's what I'm, yeah, so so they're going to church. Everybody looking beautiful. Black people everywhere looking looking great. Looking and, Easter and Sunday. What, yeah, exactly. And this one, Will, second time, right? Because the first time he brought it up with Jeffrey, um, he wants to talk to somebody about it. Yeah, um, and he he, <clears throat> he even say, uh, you know, you got a lot on your plate right now. You better do that. But I, I just feel like I. I got this door. I think he said I got this door. I want to open. And it seems mm-hmm. like nobody wants me to open it, and it might not be good if I open it. So he just tells him, man, I, I want to know more about my f- father. And I don't know how to, I guess, tell everybody. And Carlton kept it real. I got, he don't know how to answer that. But you are in a place where people look for signs. Look for signs and answers. So, I mean, I, I guess you are at the right spot. Uh, so we were going right into the, do you want to go into a little bit of the preacher? What we were saying a little bit? What? By serving different masters? Or you want to go past that? Well, well, vi- well, when Will sat down with the family. Yeah, because Carlton said I gotta go in the back to, with the choir. Yeah, get ready and everything. And Phil talking to Hillary was like, you could tell the things he said didn't like, you know, rub her the right way when he when he spoke about. Well, I'm glad you left that influencer thing alone. Now you could do law school 
made yeah, she was yeah, she, yeah. her face he said her they got face everything. Was just, you're right you're right you're right her face that's, was like that's important Dad, I'm, I'm not trying to do that like, yeah yeah because <laughs> but to be fair like I, her character is a little weird right now but like so he ended up saying they got it all erased so that means she did want to she did eventually chose to take it down yeah and, and phil stepped in to make sure it all is all gone right um he doesn't know she owes him money. She don't know. He don't know. Yeah. So she like, like, like you really got out that. He's like, you got out that contract. Mm, that's some oppressive stuff. Because normally, if you break contract, so so he's like, yeah, maybe you should consider law school. Right? He said in a joking way, but a serious. You know, yeah. how parents do joking you and serious at do, the same yep. time. Uh, and then she did have that face, like that's not what I want to do. But let's keep it real, bro. I mean, she 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 looks. Top top notch golden stat. She's an eleven, but she don't know what she wanted to do. We ain't gonna just let the beauty blind us, brother. Like she's 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 a Nike slide, bro. She a flip flop. Like that's when the boy was saying. Every time you see something, you you change your hair, you change your dare, you you. So he was right. We didn't care right. for him, but he was right. So she don't know what she wants to do. Right. So then you get into um the the pastor um singing what a preacher. Sermon. Yeah, sorry, yeah. preacher. Um, saying a whole. You can't serve more than one master. And, you know, this really goes with the show, what, what everybody's going through for even like. Because he, he, he harper on fame. Yeah. Money. Fame. Yeah. Power. Exactly. And all, the family, that's what they all kind of go through. And you want, and you want all those things and you want eternal life. Yeah, you tripping, bro. You tripping. <laughs> Only way you can get those is if you go with God. <laughs> exactly. And God will be there. For you, for you, and how deep, how deep and, it was, and that's clever. me, and that's me paraphrasing exactly what he said word for word. <laughs> but you get the gist of it, right? You saw that. So <laughs> paraphrasing word for word, that was good. yeah. <laughs> like what? So I'm paraphrasing what he might have said. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the same. Um, it's the same idea, and I want to get a little into that because it seemed everybody was going through that. Like, um, so even Aunt, Viv, Aunt Vivian, well, like she, she, she served her family, right? Yeah. But then she wants to serve this other career too, and she's in. You see this episode; she's in limbo, and that's even the idea of serving two masters. Even definitely with Uncle Phil. Yeah, when um, you when you campaign and his family. Even when Hillary. you, it's just it's basic. It's basic. You know how it's worldly. It's worldly thinking versus godly thinking. Basically, exactly. it's like yeah, I like how connected to the characters we. You even fall though that short. story, that's that sermon Oakum relate to everybody. But it definitely related to all our characters. So they all going yeah. through their whole. I'm now, trying to serve two different things: my family and my personal right. ambitions. Definitely, like Eva will. I'm with Lisa. That's you serving two different. Your family needs this, and you want this from Lisa. It's like you know, this is not a good time. So I, I just like what it was going there. Then we get now, Carlton. Oh, you go wait! Ahead. Now before we harbor on all of that, because this is going to go into the following scene. Before we get the Carlton, let's talk yes. about Ashley. And talking oh, to oh, the pastor. Outside. Yeah, I didn't like that. Talking to the pastor like about, you know, about, about certain issues concerning the LGBTQ plus community. And the pastor was like, well, we're going to get into those things. But just right now is not the time. You could tell, you know, in certain communities, that's still like a touchy subject. But that was something that she really wanted to get across in that moment. I, I get it. But like, like, can, can we be a little real here? Like, I'm not here to, <laughs> I don't care about who I offend. I, I mean, I'm Afro-American. Like, you don't care about nah, the community policies? I, no, bro. Like, like, I keep it real. Like, I'm Afro-American. We got community policies and our stuff. Like, yo, so, like, it's church, bro. Like, if church. anybody know the history of uh -huh. Christianity, that's not mm. the place you go for it, bro. Like, that's not bro. the idea. It's like we need more equal. I get what she was saying. First of all, she's 12. Yeah. And then she went. I thought she, she was 13. Said, Let's just be nice because she's still 12. Let's be nice and say okay. she's 13. She okay. told her mom, she, her mom co-signed it because she said, Yeah, you yeah. can ask him now. So therefore, she yeah, her mom. Time to shine. It's like if you want to look for this, it makes sense, right? Everybody deserves equality, right? The religion has certain rules in it that I was like, I don't feel comfortable bringing this up here because if anybody who's not for us, it won't be y'all. Like, mm. like it's just not the right spot. I can't, it's, this is not equivalent. I will give you that caveat now. Mm -hmm. I can't go 
and, and sue the clan because they won't <laughs> because they won't because they won't let me get into their group could they be in prejudice against me from joining the clan it's like oh, bro, bro what's the clan bro like i mean it's a white supremacy <laughs> hate group yeah exactly that's kind of the thing you can't well I, I hate black people too i hear you but that's you gotta find right. another group same thing here i was like bro like historically you know how they feel so you shouldn't even it should have been like i really don't want to go to church that probably would have been a different angle to hit like i don't really feel comfortable there if I, why you don't feel comfortable? Because of course, we later scenes on Vivian starting to catch on with mm-hmm. what she's on, um, what she's championing must be something related yes. to her. Yes, that's why. That's so why I'm not mad she's championing it. That. I'm not mad that she's championing it. She's young. She doesn't know. She's trying to champion it. And um, it's just what it showed that Aunt Vivian gave her the green light. No, she should have just said it. And then, like, and then they would have been, oh, that's, well, that's odd that she just said that. But her talking to our adult mother. I want to say this to the pastor. She probably would have been like, mm, I don't know. That's a, I mean, your dad trying to go for a campaign. We here for this reason. You bringing that up might derail some things. It just, it didn't actually make sense. I thought, I'm happy you brought it up because it was very important though. How, how they, how they did it. And, and, and since we still outside, we back outside again. I'm, I'm sorry. We back outside. Um, I forgot the, the girl. Who's the girl again? They was talking about? Ivy. Yeah. Well, Carucci. Ivy, right? Carucci. Pretty pretty woman right and this, this is the scene about she's really beautiful right really beautiful man when they show hillary right next to her it wasn't close bro this is crazy i'm like because i would be looking like all right hillary yeah she's pretty bro but when you send her next to a hysterical typical pretty girl because that's what she is like you see her like okay this is what people normally call pretty short light skin nice hair da, 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 standing right next to hillary i was like bro this is this is different, bro. <laughs> this, this this chocolate queen is different, bro. Nah, Hillary, nice. I'm gonna be <laughs> like, honest. Like, it's like it's a little it. too nice at this point. It's like, all right, because you making she just look uniquely different. But yes, yeah, she don't. Like it's kind of weird. Like she, so when you stand her next to somebody else who's quote unquote a ten, it's like, nah, we gotta switch yeah. this up. But um, yeah, back to so Carlton hits the stage. Let's good. Let's get back in church. Yeah. So Carlton, <laughs> yeah, because we too devilish outside. <laughs> Back to back. <laughs> back to the world. <laughs> back to God. So Carlton, this this was one of the best scenes I've seen in a show. Um, because his anxiety. All right, we could go with that. But Carlton All starts right. thinking well and start cracking and getting nervous, and he couldn't follow through. But come on, the words he was singing, what him breaking down. Yeah. God sees who I am. Yeah, but everybody else sees me this way. Yeah, I think I'm this. That's how he he's saw been the, feeling. He, he like, saw the best in me. He's exactly. picked, the the song was perfect. Whoever decided to to for that song, that was perfect because it was he saw the best in me when everybody else around me could only see the worst in me. That was, mm. and his voice started cracking. You know, it started his anxiety. Of course, started getting yeah. the best of him. Of course, because. You know, those the, like yeah. man, everybody, everybody can't shine under the bright lights all the time, man. Yeah, they say can in you, the performance. Can and you perform? Yeah. <laughs> can you perform? But again, like a lot of pressure. Like it, that goes into following scenes, but the pressure, man, is hard, man. Yeah. Imagine if you was a Huxtable kid. Oh no, oh man. What? You know how hard Denise had to have it? Like <laughs> Exactly. Different Sandra, show. Sandra but doing this and all that. That's what I'm saying. It's <laughs> like, bro, imagine the pressure. And you got to be perfect up there. Your dad running the campaign and your family is you know, there. You know what's so crazy? Because you, know, you, t- you talked about you brought up the Cosby's and it's a sitcom and, of course, Fresh Prince. But the remake, the remake is way more harder to look like a Banks kid to be a Huxley. You know how hard that's crazy that is? Bro. It like, looks tough. That, that you'd rather be a Huxtable, bro. Like, bro, I'd rather have the pressure of the Huxtables, bro. Because this, bro, this bank tough. stuff is too, like, <clears throat> you want DA, mom yeah. trying to be the floor famous. But it's just too much, man. We got yeah. a hitman in the crib. Like, I... <laughs> we, we dealing with a lot. Like, we dealing exactly. with a lot. Exactly. Let's, all right, so let's talk about after you wanna go, church. You this wanna is... Go right, yeah, okay. Let's after go. After church. Uh, uh, Vivian and Ashley, right? Like yeah. we, we heart we touched on this, but for no, Vivian to scene. come for Vivian to come in and be like, listen, you know, you used to do the world health and green yeah. every energy and this and that, and now you doing now it's the, the LGBT, <laughs> yeah, now it's the LGBTQ, 
Yeah, what's going do on? Do you got anything? Do you got anything you want to talk about? So she like, mom. You can see her like, mom. Like, I still champion those same issues. It's just I believe these should be on the forefront more often. Yeah, she says some bullcrap. Yeah, she says some. Yeah, flag on the play, bro. Like I, the reason, like, the reason I say that was, because you know, it's just a case. So was, it makes sense. Because listen, I mean, it is easier to talk to your siblings than the parent, right? Yeah, but but to my in my opinion, that was the perfect opportunity. Yeah, for the show to go it, there. That was the perfect opportunity for not only the show to go there, but for the character to have some character progression. You know how I feel about that, Link. No, no, you know you, how you, I feel about right. character progression because because she because she's stuck in that, and we don't see her a lot. So that means she yeah. should have the most progression. That to, means every me scene should out. be. This and this. Let so me she's find out y'all trying to do her like Judy on Family Matters. Y'all trying to send that girl not, upstairs. That's not. They not. Y'all trying to send her upstairs, bro. bro they not trying to boil me's world, or bro, and send the the, the kid, kid upstairs. They come down four years later, like, 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 <laughs> like they yo, not you trying to send her upstairs? But all I'm saying is that could have been an opportunity for character progression. So you saw that in you know at, at the end when her and Viv was talking, Ashley had that look like I should have said something. Yeah, because she gave her like I just want you to know you could you know because it's obvious right you're championing one thing too much. Yeah, and she tried to clean it up. I mean, she's young, so I do understand that part that she don't feel comfortable. But so she's trying to use, she's trying to deflect by using like these big issues. But oh, everybody for a flank. But that, 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 I'm I'm sorry again, guys. It doesn't make sense because you Afro American, right? You have enough. <laughs> no, you have a for that argument of civil rights should be ahead of everybody. It's like you're Afro American. <clears throat> it's a lot of black issues to champion. So if you only champion one, it's like okay, clearly like, she want to tell us something. So her wait, mom is trying to find out. Wait, Link, who you who you who you apologizing to? <laughs> no, what did I did I say I apologize? No, you said I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> oh yeah, I just say that while I feel like yo nobody want to talk about it. Like I don't understand. <laughs> like it don't make no sense. Like <sighs> if she. Like if I, uh, for you to I mean, she a kid, so it shouldn't be a great excuse. Why? So I think that was a smart decision. She's like, well, yeah. it should be a forefront of everybody's <clears throat> issues. If if your people have their own problem of like living, you see stuff on the news. They seen what we see, uh -huh. right? They live in our world. So like you see all the police brutality. Your your whole dad campaign <clears throat> is talking about that. So right. like you have a lot, a lot of issues just you being a woman and well young woman. So you don't know and um being Afro American. So if you only champion the alphabet. It's gonna be like okay, clearly you want to let people. You have know. an agenda. I yeah, mean, and there's nothing wrong with that. So her mom was just trying to let her know, like, look, I, I can see if you need to talk to me. And like you said, that would have been like, yes, mom, I do want to talk to you. Even though to be fair to the character, she did say when she first started feeling these feelings that she's technically speaking bisexual. Yeah, and that's she what doesn't. She, told she doesn't want to really say she's something. And then, like, and then if it's feel not a it, different way. yeah, yeah then it'll be like, way, yeah, yeah, I don't want to bring them into that window. It's like, it might not even be like, I really haven't ruled anything out yet. So, right. I do understand that. But the, her, but her whole thing is only focusing on that one side, not both. So, I can see why the parents, well, at least hit, um, I'm Vivian for like, okay, maybe my daughter want to tell me something. Yeah, I still thought it was a good scene. <clears throat> that was a good no, scene. No I thought, no problem with the scene. Yeah, no I, I, I thought like, but you saying that that would have pushed that character forward. I didn't think yes. about that at the time. Yeah, I think you're right. So I, I so like, if the scene was a ten, if I went down to an eight, to like, you had an opportunity to push that character forward because she's a character we don't see a lot. So every time we see her, she needs to be moving forward. She don't have the luxury of staying still because we don't see her every episode. Right. So you gotta always keep pushing that character up. But it still right. was a good scene. Um, now, so what happened after that, brother? That we we in the kitchen. Hillary and Will. Every time I'm in the kitchen, they, they talking about every time I'm in the kitchen, you in the kitchen. But they was they was uh, Hillary was cooking, you know, and they was talking about Carlton's performance. We just assume they, she was cooking. Let's get a little deep here. Like my man had a drumstick, fried drumstick, well, he, she had and, a, waffle, and a waffle. Had, I'm well, like, bro, did she just whip up some waffles and fry the chicken? Chicken and waffles. You know that down southern home cooking. And she oh, had French oh, toast on her ho plate. Hold on, hold on. Nah, nah, man, that can't be. This not. That's not. That can't still be the leftovers from the mom. Is it? Remember, he broke it up earlier and that later. No, they, they, so no, they ate, brought it up later. Yeah, you ate the rest of the. So is that you think the chicken is mom's no, chicken? No, I'm gonna no, say that's no. been there for a while. No. <laughs> right, now right. let's no let's just talk. I want to get to what Hillary the was talking about. Why Hillary 
and Will started talking. It was yeah. what happened with Carlton, right? What happened was that something that happened before the anxiety, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Big sister, no, and, she just thought it was anxiety. And well, like man, it's a little more than that. Well, <laughs> well, Hillary was like, You you've seen him do you know things like that before? He was like, Well, not like that, but we talking about drugs. Hillary was like, I ain't know. Said, what you mean? He like, oh yeah, you heavy stuff too. I'm not no he heavy said, stuff. So you don't know he left the party? Bel Air. Everybody, everybody likes in Bel Air like park. He's like, mm. <laughs> and we'll probably be like, well, that could be true. What I'm saying too, but do you know what I'm saying? Like, no, that, he likes the party. Man, <laughs> oh, she like, no, I ain't no. And that just goes to show you, there be they they so wrapped up in their own lives and their own thing that they can't even like see what's going on with these siblings. It's like, yeah, because you it, said you just you said earlier that it's easy to talk to your sibling than your parent. So that means yes. that the sibling don't even know. It's no way the parent knows. It's no way. It's no way. And then that harbors on even when Uncle Phil and Aunt Viv know about Carlton's anxiety, that's all they know. He has anxiety. They don't know he do drugs. Good stuff, too. They don't, they don't know the hard he, stuff. He got a whole applier and everything. Like. The whole stuff. So uh, Hillary is telling Will, ch uh, chanting on Will, go talk to Carlton. Go talk to Carlton. That all right, sense. I talk to. All right, I talk to him, and she like, no, now, now, like, talk to him now, right now. mother. Like right now, so he like, all right, cool. Drink Will now. goes and talks to now. Will goes and talks to Carlton. Mm. Link, good scene. Link, this right here, this right here, bro. This show. that, this that, this that big brother, little brother, right here, man. Like this one right here, it showed me that the the relationship between Will and Carlton is getting better than it was at the beginning of the show. It was. Still one thing I'm mad about Will, though, but, you know, let's keep that character to Character progression <laughs> for, for Will to be like, yo, see, like, what happened earlier? He was like, man, it was hot. I ain't eat. <laughs> the church, I was dizzy. Yeah, I ain't want know. nobody to see me faint. Yeah, that's it, bro. That's it. And he won the He's game, like, whatever he was playing, too. He just won everything. Yeah, he was like, come on. He was like, and Will was like, come on, man. And Carlton on some... <laughs> Don't come on, me and me. Yeah, he's like, yo, like I told you what it was. He's like, but but see, like I like I know you be going through some things, man, and you could talk to me, and you could talk to me. And when he, that's when Carlton started pulling back some layers, though. He was like, man, like I just wanted to make my dad proud. He was just, he's like between sports and between these things and between this, I just want to be the best version for my dad. He was like, man. Will told him, like, you already, you already that. Hey, the apple was eye, bro. Like, you, you already that. There's no reason for you to be trying to be more than what your dad already loved you for. He's like, man, I seen it when you was, he's like, man, I seen it. Like, when you were supposed to do the uh, speech with Lisa, he's like, I seen it. Like, you, like, every time something happens, you run into the drugs. Yeah, you go right to the cocaine, like, bro. Like, like you go right to the drugs. Like, stop. Like, That's telling him, like, telling him to stop. Like, you ain't got to do that. Like, just leave that shit alone. And for me, like, for Will, like, it, it showed, like I said, character progression. It showed Will, like, a coming of age, basically, in that moment. It's like, all right, he ain't try to play him. He ain't try to play him. He ain't try to, he ain't try to make it seem like it wasn't that serious. He like, yo, talk to me if you need somebody to talk to. Come to me. If you feel like you need the drugs or you can't carry the much of a burden, give it to me. Like you don't need to do this alone. And that and that's and that need to be talked about way more than just on TV. They really need to be talked about in real life. Yes. How many how many how many black men dealing with anxiety and pressure and life issues and they don't have nobody to come to? No, you got to be tough, bro. Bro, you got to have this thick skin. Yeah, man. You can't what show you mean, no bro? emotions. <laughs> you mean, I don't cry, you can't, bro. You, you can't mean? cry because if you cry, you weak. And then soft, weakness, is seem, weakness is seen as soft. Yeah. So you hold it in. You hold it in. You're still dealing with stuff from when you was five years old. Exactly. 35 nah, now. Just, ain't nobody been, really been there, man. You know? But so, I got to be strong. I got to man up. I got to man up. That's what. And the crazy thing is, is like, I'm glad. In that moment, Will never said that to Carlton. Like, man up. You see what you got? Yeah. Like, you G'day. see that? 
You see this? You got a pool house. A pool house. You tripping, bro? What you like? You tripping? Like yeah, like you I'm call glad. ten banks, bro. Like I don't want to hear right. all this. You don't so know I'm what glad. you doing. Yeah, cause I'm normally, glad. cause normally, like to be real, what H was saying, like normally you do see people who, who have to, who put on the facade, so they tough all the time, so they never yeah. deal with the emotions, or you see the complete opposite. You know, people only talking about their emotions. So it's nice to see, like, there's a balance, right? We have to express ourselves so you can be the best you, not just harp on them things or not just ignore them. So it, right. it was really good, and that small scene, and it went deeper later in the episode. They put- Pull back. They was yeah, exactly. pulling back constant. They was pulling was back layers. And even before, uh, before Will Will went upstairs to talk to Carlton, Hilly was going to call Jazz. Ah, we I didn't know who she called. I didn't know who she called. I thought she was calling I did not Jazz. Know who she called. I'm thinking like, ah, she about to call Jazz. She like you man. busy. She like you busy. All right, meet me, meet me here. I'm like, all right, I didn't know who she called. Jazz nutty she... too, bro. I, we're going to get back while Will nutty because it comes up later. But all right, Jazz nutty for this too, man. I get it, bro. If I was fun of a Hillary Banks, I probably did. <laughs> Bro, I get it. But you did get played and you did you was angry. And of course, that was could be, I guess, in this could be a week in this time frame. I don't know. But like when she called you, it did the idea of the basically to steal her stuff from the house. No, Link, that was listen, this uh, this whole thing transpiring. Yeah. From from when yeah, the contract. With, from Will to for no, from Will talking to Carlton to to that's a whole. This is a whole one day. Yeah, no, no, I know that. I'm talking about last time they um, communicated with each other or seen oh, each other. Oh yeah, at the bar. oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. been a while. Yeah. yeah, it's been a while since Car- uh, Hillary seen uh, Jazz. Yeah, yeah. So that's what it says. She called him, and so he, he go over there to help her steal her own stuff because yeah, she doesn't want to. And all right, this again, this is her storyline. Sounds nutty. We break it down. If you just avoid the beauty, it's hard to avoid the beauty. <laughs> but she don't got the fifty k. No, that doesn't even sound real. Um, no, she she, she doesn't want to ask her parents for the fifty k, right. but she had to just ask her parents to get the um the video the hotel. Down. Oh, the no, video, the video yeah, down. Video. And a hotel can't be cheap. And she says she's staying there. Five stars. So that Five means she stars. didn't move. Ain't like she's told her family, "I'm moving back in." That's different. She says she's at the hotel. Five star. Like, so you got money to spend. So maybe they should have upped the ante of the fifty thousand to us. Maybe they should have says a cuckoo number like a quarter million or something maybe it would have been like it makes more sense why she's at the hotel well, still got money well, but the fifty thousand. well link 50k uh, is not nothing to sneeze at billionaire nah or not. bro i'm i'm saying the billionaire idea or not like, I did, the <laughs> idea no Coletta, what, what if she got what if she got 40k in the bank yes, like you don't have to ask your parents you get, for 50k no you, no, I'm you, saying? Give, you don't you give kylo 20 you ask your folks for 30. Bro, she didn't do none of that. <laughs> she didn't do none of that. You She's sneaking her- into the crib. That means she got kicked out already. She's sneaking back into the crib and using yeah. jazz to steal the stuff. And I ain't going to lie. Yeah. She, was, she wasn't even wearing nothing crazy. She was just wearing the jeans and it. But, bro. <laughs> well, well, now that the people, let's let the people bruh. know. Link loves Hillary. <laughs> yeah, don't no, no, no. Ain't no link loves Hillary. To act like you not a part of the train, brother. You right there. I'm in the pack. You driving. I'm in the passenger side no, of my I'm best friend's lie. ride. Trying to get her to holler at me. I'm a scrub right now for her. She looked good. <laughs> she looked good. I'm sorry. I'm saying every no, I'm just saying every scene, like uh, normally, like so normally when you wear something, it don't like it don't stick out, stick out. When she wears stuff, it's, it makes sense for the original Hillary Banks. Would yeah. you? You wear something that has to pop because that's how Hillary is. She cares about that's how she her wardrobe. So it's just crazy that everything pops when she wears it, you know. Because everybody in the show is beautiful. They they hired a lot of beautiful people this for is, this show. They they this didn't is play a great, around. This is a great cast. Melanin yeah. is beautiful. The melanin exactly. Beautiful. They didn't play around. So that's saying so. All right. Uh, so what happens after what after? No, let's talk about. Oh, when oh Jazz, no, she, she, yeah. Jazz, Jazz in shot. there. She's like, yeah, get my sign. He like, all right, I'm gonna do it. Like I'm saying, like, crazy part is she taller than him. She could have reached out now, herself. Yeah. Now afterwards, what you saying? We go back to my crib. I make yeah, you. I ain't got your. Yeah, I, mean, I ain't got your chef skills. I mean, I, I can make you a little din din. Yeah. She I mean, like, or uh, she like, or we go back to this five star hotel I'm staying at and just order room service. Nigga, hit the jackpot, jazz, bro. What? <laughs> jazz. In my, I'm looking at jazz. I'm like. I'm thinking like he like on some like he might oh. have to pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> he 
He ain't got no bread. He ain't got no money. Yeah, he's thinking like, oh, well, are we saying you taking care of the tab? And that changes yeah, so, a lot, you know. Like if you taking care of the tab, you know. So when them, so that was the, so, so that was that scene, that rep, that scene, right? So let's get into Phil, 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 campaign uh, manager, and campaign um, Jeffrey. manager and Jeffrey oh, sitting down having oh, a powwow. Oh, this was. Every, yeah, I ain't gonna keep it right. Every scene Jeffrey was in this episode, bro. So ever, all right. So evidently, right? So evidently, in this scene, Fred. Well, they have the video evidence of Fred cheating on his wife with Lupus that died with the with the stepmom. Even though we didn't know that, so so this is crazy. So Phil do know is true beforehand because yeah. of what happened at the party and yeah. his wife and everything. But yeah, they got video proof that now they I got video proof. Yeah, so I guess they're saying should they use it in the campaign? Yeah, so at this time they, they have no idea. Phil and no. Jeffrey, both of them, because they're the ones who definitely know this, has no idea they possibly know about Will. They, so they could they're not using this as a backup plan. They saying no, no, if he talks dirty about you're not fitting in with the community, you being or too yeah, rich you and, you you too much, you too removed for having money. Exactly, and that right there is like all right. So uh, we're going. to go fast to this scene because it was good dialogue back and forth so yeah. jeffrey was just sitting there not agreeing after i didn't say he disagreed he just he wasn't disagree yeah he, wasn't he was just, he was he was just saying how does he get to point a to point b like because yeah. he's saying like could we say like like you, you need people to talk you in to what you really want to do so you won't right. look like the bad guy he said are you right. trying to say my 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 hesitant is not really like no nah, it's, it's just you need people to say you have no choice. So when you do it, you, you don't feel guilty about it because you have no problem right. doing it. You will like, do if, it. If it's, <laughs> if it's if it's something that Phil want to do and he, he yeah. his heart is in it, he but he it. just want other people to be like, yeah, you, yeah, you got to do it. You got to do it. And he's like, yeah, all right, cool. So, so if, if it's backlash, you'd be like, you told me I had to do it. You told me, y'all. When, when you, have no prob- yeah, you have no problem going dark. Yeah. When you need to go dark to hurt, like you would get whatever you want. You don't care who you hurt to get it. Yep. And, um and and they didn't even, they didn't even get deep because this scene goes to another scene later they get deeper into that but that didn't happen and then the, the yeah. campaign manager like yo is, is this a therapy session or can we get back yeah. to the politics bro? yeah and He's they like, got enough with the tea yeah. and crimpets like they got next to the politics now we're going to end up fast forwarding through this episode after this okay. next scene the biggest okay. scene of the show the parallel universe happens I didn't see Listen, this. I didn't see right, this happening, right, bro. So, okay, There's only one y'all. thing they could have made this better. Let me, There's let only me one thing they could have made this better, or two things. Let me tell y'all what happened. So, oh, I was googling this morning. I was googling. Oh, don't this tell morning. me you got you got spoiled. Listen, I was googling this morning, right? Oh, I didn't get spoiled. so. I'm in my googles and I'm googling Bel Air episode nine, and they like, um, don't be surprised. But some old castmates have made this episode. Uh, that's not so even like, they, they ruined your surprise. So look, right? So so I'm watching the episode. I'm not expecting it though. But I'm I'm, right. I'm watching the episode. I'm like, I'm not expecting it. I'm like, all right, who won't pop up in this episode? It can't be James Avery, right? Rest in peace. Damn. Damn it. So you know what I'm saying it can't be James Avery, right? <laughs> no, nah, that's, so, that's, that's factual. That's factual. Right. So God. So I'm thinking like, all right, it's not gonna be. I'm like, all right, they're not gonna put Will Smith in this in this show, right? So he's Lou. Look to see, <laughs> it's dead. yeah, that's gonna be crazy. Nobody's gonna be it's mad. Dead. You're gonna His look like dad Han- is he's, Will. You're gonna look like Hancock. Like yo, I ball, my ball drink. His dad Will. That's crazy. <laughs> What? It's crazy. <laughs> Wildness. I but, that let's, okay. but of course, um, yeah, so some so of course a little Easter eggs, whatever, right? Yeah. So Link, were you expecting what you saw when Vivian showed up for the art fellowship? No. Um, the first, <laughs> well, I first, so I saw this whole thing and I actually rewind the scene to watch it. Yeah. So the first time I watched it, I'm a fan. Second time Man. I watched the scene, I was more of a critic. Um, yeah. But I was happy. So she walks into the room and she sees 
the second original Aunt Rib. <laughs> and she sees and sees um her her Will's mom. original yeah. original sister vibe yeah. right so so you see like will's original mom and in the second original aunt bib and i was shocked right because first i just seen I, I just seen a sister i was like oh that's will's mom yeah that's crazy no, look, though, and then i'm looking like oh that's um the, and i'm like i'm clapping listen. the whole time the whole scene they could have did a little things to make that thing a little better for us but i'm happy with it bro but listen though happy right so I'm, I look, so mind you, it goes hyped. from the next scene and I look down, right? I look down for a minute. For so I look, I think I looked at my phone. I look down, but I hear a voice. I'm like, yo, that voice sounds super familiar. Uh-oh. I look up, I'm like, oh shit. They got fucking, the, I'm Viv in here. Like, <laughs> yeah, that was, I'm like, oh, they got I'm Viv on there. I start snapping. <laughs> no, I ain't going to lie. If they, if they wanted to go, and I, and I think they tried to do this, but couldn't, they wanted to go super parallel universe. They supposed to have the other Aunt Viv, so we have three Aunt Vibs in one scene, bro. That would nah, they not going. Nah, they're not going. But she probably didn't want to do that. But she well, because because yeah, even on um, reunion, I didn't really they separated, right? It was just yeah, like they're her. not. Fe- she not. So yeah, she don't get along with feeling. the other. Well, she might. Her it's Will, Will. might patch up. It's but, Will, bro. She don't get along along with Will Smith, bro. Well, then because uh, right there, that would have been great for to have all three in the picture, all three Aunt Vibs in one picture, bro. Oh, Link so one, he went that pa- you want that Power Rangers episode when they yeah, had all the Rangers, yeah, like, all the Red Rangers, Rangers, bro, <laughs> all the Red Rangers. I was hyped, bro, when Tommy showed up, and they thinking like, "Are oh, we got all the Rangers?" And Tommy like, "No, nah, there's one more." He like, "What? Who else can it be?" Then Jason pulled up on a motorcycle. What is? <laughs> I ain't got the Red Rangers. Oh, he pulled out the original. He like, "Let's do this." I'm like, "Let's go." <laughs> all right, so back to Will. Um, so no no uh yeah that, that scene was just Link, beautiful for the I scenes need... the scenes they were saying do you want to do this fellowship the fellowship it's going to take a lot of your time up for a year you want to go travel around the country around the world for things and it gives us 24 hours to think about that one all right so after the aunts and the aunts and the, what, <laughs> whatever the parallel was uh we, we have we have will uh going to uncle phil yeah uh, how did you feel about the scene? You know, uh, yeah. Um, for me, uh, I feel like Will, the things that was said by Will in the in this scene was like he was more, he was more keen on looking out for the family than looking out for himself. Oh yeah, Cause, yeah. Because Will Smith, again, Will Smith is a selfish person. So this particular version of Will Smith is looking out for the greater good of the family and what damage him finding out about his dad will do to the family that's facts that's facts like you said before you know this 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 wasn't will yeah smith. this this not what this version of will smith is very like is very like all right cool like he is you know life of the party and he is all of that like hand do life on his terms cool but you can tell that if some if, if any information that will hurt anybody else around him Especially in that house, he's gonna look. He's gonna do it a different way than you know his usual antics. Yeah, that lets you know his growth. Like he's growing as a character. You know, character progression is very important exactly. to TV shows. Exactly. So uh, right after that, you, you you see Will Will story continues because um yeah now he's talking to Carlton uh, Carlton sharing his emotion of how um he he's thanking Will for like um. I ain't gonna say saving him, but talking to him because he was gonna use, he was gonna have to finish playing the game, he was gonna get high, and Will yeah. stopped that from um saying, You're not alone. You know, right. I'm with you, you know, like share your burden with me. You, you know, so that was that was great, actually. Like like we said before, like um the importance of them two characters, yeah, their dynamic is getting really better good together. It's better. It's being it's it's being better portrayed because again, everything that transpired between Will and Lisa and Carlton is like intertwined together. So all these stories like making it makes the story go deeper. So you need you need that. So in that scene, Carlton was like, "Well, Will asked Carlton when the last time he spoke to Lisa. He said he hasn't spoke to her since yeah, you they, know things have been well with the father. You yeah. know you." You hitting my you hitting my old work. So yeah, at first why would I, I thought, be talking to that. Yeah, that's all thought like, come on. Why what, would I be talking to her? That's the only so, part about the will, will being was that like, all right. So, 
Yeah, so Will ring her up. He ring her up, you know. And you see Lisa in the next scene arguing yeah. with her dad. You don't know him. I know him enough. I know him. I know I know, I know, him. I know him enough to know his uncle, to know his uncle uh bit the law so he could so he could uh be up here. Yeah, broke the Lisa law. Lisa replies, you don't, like you don't you know him. You don't know him. Yeah. So if you really want to know him, ask him for yourself. See what yeah. he say. Is it a mugshot picture? Because I got the proof. Yeah, this is him. This is not Photoshop. I got the proof. So now we know something is coming to, to arise. Like yeah. we know Will, we know the reason why Will is in Bel Air is gonna come out in this episode. We know and, that now. And and, and this one, like I was saying the show was great because it's yeah. we know things are coming, going to come up, but we don't know how. And right. And and with in every single way, how it will come up will change the dynamic between the characters. So right. I didn't think this how will come out, right? I okay. assumed that it was going to hurt the relationship of Will and Lisa because she would accidentally tell her father the information. But okay. he knows the information and tells her. Now so he that, knows. Change, that tells changes her. everything because he now, knows. Now see, that now changes see everything. now that Lisa's dad knows that while Will is actually there, now, this is the, I'm not even going to give that away. But, no, but it does make that. sense. Gonna, it does make sense why her father don't Want him, want her around him, because right. like he just learned that information. He didn't know that before because he didn't he, know it before. We're gonna say we're gonna tell you who told him, but it was like right. So that was already heavy. So it goes into whew, man. oh, that's man. the best. I think the best scene of the show. Jeffrey of versus this episode? Uncle Phil. Of this Jeffrey, episode? yeah, Jeffrey without, and Uncle Phil. Jeffrey and Uncle Phil. Without yeah. a doubt. Yeah, this, without a doubt. Um, the emotional buildup of um Beca because. He like find. you said, uh, uh, Jeffrey come Jeffrey comes in and see Uncle Phil holding holding the folder with the information about yeah. Will's dad, and he says, and "Where Jeffrey did you get says, that? How you get it?" Yeah, he said, "Will gave it to me." It, I, I get that. See, he and, never and, told and, and Will. And Jeffrey's shoes. Yeah, I would have told Will. He like, knows <laughs> Phil. He know yeah, him. He like, know ain't him. no way he just gave you that. Ain't no way. Or did yeah. you? Con him, yeah, for giving it to you, yeah. That's why he asked him, like, yo, okay, did you go to him? What are you doing with this? But Will did come, yeah. so I guess Jeffrey didn't see that Will might approach him with that information, but right, yeah, like I told you not to do that. And then now, I'm like, it, this big back and forth of like, my job is to protect tell, you and your family. Tell me, yeah, tell and me sometimes what you, tell, that don't oh, go ahead. no. When Phil told, when Phil told Jeffrey, tell me, like, basically, like, tell me how you really feel. Yeah, he, like, he was like, listen, man, your wife, your wife, she drowned in, like behind your success. Your yeah. son, yeah. your son, he got anxiety because he want to be just like you. Your yeah, daughter, your daughter, hold on. He said, he said, hold <laughs> on now. You tried some dangerous territory. Your daughter, hold on. You're, you're treading the line. You could have said anything about anybody else. But Hillary, you crossing the line. Yeah. So wait, wait, wait. What's he talking about, Hillary? Was he talking? You think he's talking about Ashley? He might have been talking could be about bringing Ashley. Out the alphabet, like you don't even know that your daughter. You don't even know that your, your daughter out here mangling it, it with could, girls. It, a, it could go either way. Or you know what's he going to bring up? They, unless he's going to bring up the fifty k. Maybe Jeffrey. Jeffrey knows everything. Yeah, Jeffrey knows everything. Well, by, but like, like but, Jeffrey said, but he just said, "Be careful." Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Like, I'm here to protect your family. I thought if we you were gonna if, learn something more about this. So well, he's he's well when when Phil said, Oh, you just mad, oh, you just oh. mad because you had to leave your own son. That step in, bro. That cut deep. That cut deep. That step that in deep. was beautiful. That, that cut deep. You know, and funny yeah. part is Jeffrey, who uh in the beginning of the episode, I forgot about what well, Will, I think um was Will sitting down. Oh, he gave Will. The paperwork, the paperwork, and Will and, and Will was sitting down on the bed. The way Jeffrey did that one step in and one mm -hmm. step out, so much emotion in that alone. That like <laughs> the Will was sitting there holding the paper, don't know what to do, and Jeffrey yeah. took a step forward to like console him. And he stopped and looked at him and took a step back, and that was like. Mm. So this scene when Listen. he took that step forward, when he broke up his son, like to show like the the passion, yeah, the, the emotions. Like, oh. You seen it in his eyes, yeah. You know, and then like 
Yeah. But it got to the conclusion. Well, not it got to the point that well it got dude just can't it got, trust. It got heated. Jeffrey. It got but, heated. But he said he just can't trust him because he did something behind yeah. his back. So how can I trust you? Yeah, because he, because it refers back to the last episode. He kept referring to Jeffrey. You work for me. You work for me. Yeah. Oh, so in my eyes, I'm just in your eyes, I'm just an employee. So like, I'm not. Yeah. That's it. And so I'm that's not. to you. So yeah. so it's only rightfully so. Like you said, I'm a step back. You're uh, Phil fired him, but like Jeffrey said, like we ain't gonna say you fired me. It'll look too bad. Just say I had a family emergency. I had to take care of right now. Yeah, and you, and, like, and then they started crying. Like, what? Well, ah, yeah, that's ah. why we say like back to the line when he said like, you know, like you hire, like you work for me. He said my job is to protect it's you to and protect your family. Your family, yeah. And he's saying you're trying to protect my family from me. And yeah, that was like that was beautiful scene. But he yeah. was breaking, like we say, he broke down what's going on with some of your family members. How you, if you really want something, you push them to the side to get it. And get um, it, yeah. And look at people surrounding you. What's happening? And that even reflects to how Uncle Phil, when he looked at his family going to church, like it all goes back to how I'm like, man, look how happy and grateful I am. Okay. But like I said, when they embrace each other, it's like, man, are Okay, they're not related, if, but if it, no, but, but he it, worked it for him like, so long that he loves his family as well. But if you felt that brother embrace, like I'm mad at you, but you still my brother. It felt like when Nino when Nino killed G Money. Oh come on, bro! <laughs> it felt like that, bro. It felt like that. Like you, my brother, but you ain't my brother. Am I my, Am brother's, I my brother's keeper? keeper? Yes, yes, I uh, am. am. <laughs> and, and that's what it felt like. It felt like. Damn, like how do we get here? Like it, it felt like that. Like we got to a pivotal point where it's bo it boiled over to I can't trust you, but be because you only look at me as like so small. Yeah, like, yeah, because they both yeah, because when I when I disagree with you, now I'm your associate. Yeah, but now you are you're, you're, you're my now. boss, employee. Yeah, it's no more friendship, business, office, none I'm of that. When I'm sitting in the office and you talk about your campaign campaign, you want me to be your friend. No, speak. Well, what, what yeah. you thinking? Like, so I could share with your emotion, but I can't, you know, I can't say, look, you might be wrong about this. Do you have a it's, right to tell it? Oh, I didn't, I didn't even bring it up. When he said, like, we brung up the will thing, he was said you could have used that opportunity to get closer to Will. He was like, yeah. like, yes, like maybe he needed somebody to be there with him. And you could have been like, all right, you know what? We could look at this together. You know, well, you know, you could know about your father, but you still means you have to see him. But we could open up this letter together. So right. it was interesting. They just look at it both two different ways. I'm bringing up his son. That has to come back in a story somehow. So we're going to see. We don't know if his son is gone or he just left him. So yeah, we're going to see. We're going we're gonna to have to find out. And that's right. what it, you know, you know, Uncle Phil has to do a 180. So he he goes and talks to his wife before his debate. Um, yes. Because he's going to head out first. And this whole, she she heard Jeffrey's leaving, but she don't know the truth. This right. got to come, I feel like this is going to come back to bite him. Well, it's, I feel yeah, like, Because well, he didn't tell her why he's leaving. So, well, go ahead. Go ahead. No, well, I, I'll, I'll say this, right? Because I feel like what happens, what transpires after all of this, like at the until end of the episode, I feel like it's going to be something that, that he comes back. It's going to be something that he comes back. Well, true. So, but she has to find out why he left. And he lied about well, it. Well, he lied. He lied. And, he, and did what, he did what any, any, anybody yeah. in that position would. But, but, right? but let's look at the show so far. She ain't liking them lies. She don't like them lies. And, right? and then like and he he could have easily said, "Look, I I didn't want." He don't even have to say, "I told him to shut up." Will's father. He's saying, yeah. he, he I told him that it's not in his interest to pursue him, and he wouldn't give right. him information." You could tell her that, so we might need to separate him from a while or permanently. But he ended up telling her like, "Don't turn down your fellowship. Yeah. I would take care of everything." Yeah, now, this makes sense after what happened at the end, but I don't think that was the plan. What happened at the end, he did that on the fly after he heard new information. I think, so I it's think, interesting, he really thought he can do both. I think serving two thought, masters, you know. I think he thought he could do both, right? But again, this is a pivotal scene because it is 
Viv was, trying to step up. Viv was indecisive about her decision about the fellowship at that moment in that scene. Yeah. So we 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 don't know what's about to come. We don't know what's about to come come about. But I, but I would say I'll play devil's advocate. I believe the only reason why he's acting that way is because what he just said, what Jeffrey said to him. Mm. Um, you always there. sacrificing. Yeah, you sacrifice. You always sacrifice. Them. Yeah, yep. and and now she she's saying she doesn't know, and he he's seen this opportunity to, to prove Jeffrey wrong. You know what? Yeah. No, take it. I yeah. I do it. I I so how are you gonna do both? I I get it done. I got it because she was it saying done. it's the yeah. worst time for Jeffrey to have a family emergency because yeah, I'm going to be gone for like a year. You're going to be have to focus on the whole the whole state. You know, you have to do that whole stuff for right. on that stuff. He's gonna watch out for the kids, and that's a good setup, right? Because he's gonna make sure that nothing happens to them. And, and yep. that that I thought was gonna make Phil call him, like you know what? Right. Like, maybe I overreacted, but we just need to repair our relationship. But yes, be back here because the kids is going to need you. Yeah, you know, because you can't do everything. Can't. Then he then he he leaves and goes to the debate. Um, yes. Then, then uh, now that's when they go downstairs. That's what that's what they Vid, to, that's what Aunt Vid though talked to Aunt Vid on the on the phone. Oh, that's beforehand. Is that before? Aunt? That's it. But that happens before. She you're right. Talked, you're right. She yeah, talked she talked, Vid yeah, Vid talked about, about yeah. like I said. And that lasts into Phil. Yeah, she was. Yeah, she was indecisive about the fellowship. So all, right. all go, this, all this goes downstairs. Pain is happening. Will trying to get something to eat. <laughs> She's like, damn, I wanted my mama leftovers. Exactly. They all gone. Carlton kept it real. Like, you know, you know when you get Carlton high, you get you get hungry. So <laughs> he ain't say that. He ain't say <laughs> no, that. No, no, he, he ain't say that. But no, he, he looked a little, little like, damn, you better hit some delivery apps or something. Like, I'm yeah. trying, I ain't trying to be on an empty stomach at the debate. Exactly. So and Carlton um, was like, I got it. And then <laughs> I guess the doorbell I guess rings. it's a joke on Jeffrey, right? The doorbell rings. Doorbell rings. They don't attempt to move. Rings no, again. They both look at each other. <laughs> but here's the thing, though. They both look at each other, right? And then the, you hear the door opening. So obviously, it's yeah. somebody the family who, knows. Who like, felt mad just, comfortable, like mad comfortable. Or this whole who show, or this whole show's about to turn into a horror movie. Like, what, what? <laughs> who is it now? Who is it? It's Lisa. Yeah, I, Lisa I didn't don't look I didn't, too happy. I, I like this scene. I just don't like that Lisa's there, but I like the scene. Lisa don't look too happy, y'all. Yeah, now she changed. Remember, she left the house even when she seen the picture first right away. She don't care what her father saying. Whatever. Nah. Just hate him. But on her ride there, she she's thinking. She gets there, she just brings the picture out. She don't. She like tell me this isn't she you. Don't say nothing. Yeah. Carlton like Carlton even try. He like. Carlton not, don't say nothing though. No, 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 he said it's not what you think. He says that. Yeah. And then, and then like he get pushed to the side. Lisa, Lisa, like, shut up, Carlton. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, like, and, and at this point, I'm like, I don't like this dynamic with them three, bro. Lisa got bro, he got a separate this dynamic, Lisa, bro. It, you wouldn't work These for you, H. it'd be a rat, bro. That your cousin couldn't do that. He wouldn't be your brother. <laughs> Bro, that's not my bro. We not cousins. We not nothing no more. Bro. Yeah, like I understand. I'm going through my crazy. Wow, you already been down here for like two, three months, bro. Like they say, can't... blood thicker than water, but no, nah, not in this what? case. That's, yeah, this this on potent like water. Super... This, yeah, this some this some aqua. This some aqua. Aqual... <laughs> this some different water. Some, I, uh, this... Shit, yeah, yeah, I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, this is the but, Wikia, all the right. Wikia so water. so will like let me explain. Can we like go talk? Either. Can we? Yeah. Can we go talk and, and leave, leave Carlton there and leave Carlton? Right. Weird emotion. Carlton don't know what. To so do. they go into the office. Yeah. And Lisa is letting Will have it. Yeah. Letting yeah. him have it. Like letting yeah, him have yeah. it. Like you she just lied. Say, she just say you a dumb lied. line though. Let's keep it real. Like like for this argument, sake, had, she didn't, she well, said oh, we, we I had, told no no I no oh that was funny too but. She said, I told you everything. Your everything ain't yeah. the same as my everything. Very true. Like, she didn't but, say anything to, that would like, like honestly, her Link, situation. though. All right, cool. Like, all right, let's let's call it. All right, this is apples to oranges. You telling me about uh, your you mom being name, your name. And yeah. me comparing that to my mom dying of lupus. No, no my mom no. dying of lupus is more of a big deal, bro. You, oh, That's you way said, big. So That's she's big. saying, I told you. But but look, all right, all right. So you're trying to say is her story, her her news was more heavy. So but that's mom, why she felt 
her mom dying of lupus. But I don't her care mom, he... her mom dying of lupus doesn't wait. Hold on, I don't know what you're saying. Are you saying that you agree with her being upset? I you... agree. I agree that she told oh, Will oh. more. All right, cool. So me, I'm saying Will had her... an upper. All right, listen. All right, all right, it goes right. back to the scene where they were her advocate, and she was like, "Why? What's the real reason you here in Philly?" And he and he paused. He paused. So that means. When you you know when you pause, that took you to you thought you thought. All right, bro. You thought. All right, all right. facts. All right, true. That's facts. That's facts. All but, right, I'm here for a better education. Yeah. You had a perfect opportunity to tell her. Listen, facts. you could you could have told her half the truth. Listen, I was getting into some trouble back home, and my uncle and my aunt thought it was best for me to come out here. Facts. I give you that. But my name is Deshaun Hall. AKA Link, AKA L, one the philosopher. And yeah. I am the advocate for Willard Banks. Okay. All right. My man went out there and he was told by the king, the top dog, you don't tell anybody why you are. You don't here. tell. And you then, don't tell any. Listen. The same day that Lisa asked him, it happened again. The king went to him and saying, you don't tell say nobody. Why you out yeah. here? Could that would and but, then she his her her father is but, running against me in the campaign. He can't Link, give that information out. That information affects his life. Her information doesn't affect Link, what's gonna happen afterwards. He had no choice. Link, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is this, right? What I'm saying is this. And she'll I understand, understand that. To she make, gotta go. I understand I understand what you're saying. You're trying to justify Will's actions. But I'm he was wrong to. for lying to her. He, uh, he, he was, was wrong for lying to her, bro. Nah. Like he was wrong for no. Nah. He, he was wrong for lying. He was to, wrong for messing with Carlton's ex. The reason she why, was wrong listen, for messing with Carlton's cousin, but he wasn't with, wrong for lying. To quote the famous poet and rapper Kendrick Lamar, nah. "You ain't got a lie to kick it. <laughs> you ain't got a lie to kick it." You ain't got to lie. I mean. You ain't got to lie to kick it. Listen, bro, you could have had Lisa regardless if you would have. Bro, she just would have looked at you. That's fact. She would have liked you more. She would be like, ooh, bad boy. (laughs) You know how to look at you a little different. Like, damn, that's crazy. But at the same time, at least you wouldn't have lied and you wouldn't have been here. Now that you in this situation. You tell Lisa, don't tell your dad. He already right, so, knows. So, so, so you think the sex thing is valid? That what, she that wouldn't Will have done. Like she lied wouldn't. to get the to get the buns. Yeah, because he didn't lie to get the buns. He lied. He didn't lie. No, he didn't lie to get the buns. But no, him lying made her seem like, oh, I could, I could trust him, bro. That's how that. That's how it worked. I you mean, know that. Answer. You go, yeah. come on, like <laughs> come on, like you, you know that. Like be logical. Like be logical. <sighs> He lied. She felt more safe and comfortable. I trust you with the... And go back to the scene. She uh, said she trusts him. Nah, she she said did she say trusts him. She did say that, but... I mean, yeah. I don't like Bro, it. like, that's how we work. <laughs> like, you know that. Like, they feel safe. Yeah, they, they feel secure. Safe, You're, a You're a protector. You're a protector. And they'll start... They do anything. They'll do anything for you. Like, they'll do anything for you. Anything, like, yeah. do anything for you. That's fine. So, now that we know that Lisa's dad knows the information. What do Will and Carlton try to do? Well, I think they did the smartest thing, even though it was childish. But no, no, they try to call him first. We don't see that though. They try to call him. <laughs> yeah, we don't see. We just see them running to the um uh, the debate, the venue. Um, yeah, yeah, and um, there's a guard there. I, I guess it should be one guard. I, I mean, of I course. guess I've never been to. I a, mean, uh, I never been to a it's, DA it's debate. Gonna be, no, it's, so I don't. I don't think more, it'll be more it's, guards. It'll be way more. It'd but there was, more, a, but for, there was on the side of the TV. building, and it was on the side of the it's building. TV. It wasn't the front TV. of the building, so maybe it's so it's TV. So they're trying to get in. The guy was definitely respectable. Like he, yeah, he didn't go too crazy. He just said, "Hey, y'all can't come in here." He didn't go like you know. He didn't go like if it was the old Fresh Prince, even though that was a comedy. But every time they ran into like a cop somewhere, they just got locked up and all that. Now the guy act crazy on TV for the <laughs> so that didn't happen crazy. here. But they were trying to get in. Um, Will was screaming out Uncle Phil and then that's what the campaign manager opened the door uh, what's going on yep. they just te- they text him great that they had his number great. but you know but you know great. but you know right before that Phil was talking to Judge Robinson <clears throat> Judge no, Robinson is- told him Judge Robinson told him listen man if you would have just did and did the plan like we had 
it ain't had to be like this. You know, I disagree He's, with that. The information he they like, gave well, us, I dif- disagree with that. Well, Phil was like, well, I, I am running the campaign the right way, but not in the way y'all want me to run. Because we was running it, he was losing. Um, he was losing. Because they're saying he, yes. he wasn't relatable. He was losing. So he had to he say something losing. to make him relatable, but that yeah, pushed him losing. away from the people who endorsed him. They're like, oh, what are you doing? Yep. And he had to exactly. make a choice to keep going. He kept going, but but yep. the way he kept saying, "I'm sorry to do this," like he was warning him. I, I guess mm-hmm. he didn't. The he already still knew. didn't pop in his like, mind though. He, he went already like, had he went like, he went like, yeah, I'm letting you know. Like, I mean, it could have been all different, but yeah, it could have been to, different. This debate about to go down. Shit about to shout, out, shout out for the debate. I swear this is going to be the last episode where they do the whole debate thing. And they, they just, you don't know what they're going to do in this show. They just like, yeah. So it's a, it's a roller coaster. And I ain't going to lie. I swear that Will and Carlton wasn't going to reach their own. Listen, so uh, because I'm going to be in the building, manager. he's talking to the judge. Oh, yeah, they're not going to meet up. It's going to be a, he's going to walk out on stage before they see him. But they, they caught up to him. They caught up to Phil and Will, Will is apologizing. Yeah. Sorry, Uncle Phil. I didn't mean for it. To, he like, oh, what happened? He like, well, Lisa's dad knows about oh, what okay. happened. Before we get into that, well, Lisa said y'all both did it. I can't. I like I Listen. technically speaking, she right, but I'm like, oh, hold on, like, like my life was about to be thrown away. Yeah, I was gonna be locked. Remember, he was getting out. Like he he was gonna stay in jail, right? Because he had the gun, the fingerprints was him. So it what? Was like he, him. he might get five years minimum. Or if he don't, he's gonna be in there for a long time. If he get out, when he get out, they're gonna try to kill him. His life was over. His life was over. So it's like, yo, like yeah, I did what I did. He had to do it to save me. So ain't no well, y'all did what y'all did, and so then I got to deal. It was just weird. But she was upset, and she yeah. didn't know what to believe right now, and he was just trying to convince her otherwise but that's when they tell uncle phil back to that um he, he has to make a decision he's listening he understands okay this guy knows how we're going he to knows. approach this and he, he's saying oh. no problem i got it they're looking like i got it what do you mean i got it i'm gonna take care of it what you mean you yeah i'm gonna take about? care of it yeah, he was like all right i got it and now listen i'm gonna be honest I'm right talking. when he said i'm gonna go out there and i'm gonna still speak right i'm like well, he's just going to let that shit hit the fan or he's just going to say what happened. But if he does that, he's going to jail. Yeah. So, we, but when he started with the whole, you got to protect your family and that's how you see somebody character. I went, okay, he's setting it up. If well, you wait, bring it up, wait, it shows you know that he's. Was, here's, the, here's what was super important about this scene though, because you got to remember when they was talking about the campaign, he was like, what you going to do if, if Wilkes win the coin toss and he bombards you with that information, what are you going to do? So in Phil winning the coin toss, it gave him ample opportunity to get in front of it, to actually get out in front of it. Exactly. And that's what I thought he was doing. Cause what he was saying, yeah. it was like, okay, he's setting it up that a man who protects his family, you see his character. Right. Yeah, this is smart. So if they try yeah. to either accuse you of something, you could deny it, but it still shows you deny that they do that. I'm just protecting my family. All right, right. All right cool. It might work. Then no, he you he, he did the total opposite. I think he said his great soliloquy about the importance of protecting your family and being there for your family. He stepped away. He stepped down. He, resigned. he yeah. said, I'm a back, I'm a resign, and I'm a back Fred. Which was crazy because nobody say, saw if, that coming. No, I didn't. Nobody. The, say, I didn't even no. I didn't even see that coming. Uncle Phil supposed to win that. It was like they changed that up and and even though he saved his, he did it for his family. He probably ended up saving a little bit of friendship he had with Fred because that I believe that, debate, yeah, I that believe friendship would have been believe, over. Yeah, I believe that's what that's what happened. He like, would have brought up Will, and he and he would have brought up his wife. They would never be. No, they would never be friends again. Yeah, did we say like we did the we, hugging? We, I think we. Yeah, they was shaking I mean, hands. The, the, the fam, the family was the family was hugging, and you know, Viv and Phil was saying like they was embracing and saying you know. Phil was telling her, like, take the fellowship. I think you should. And, you know, at that moment, you saw that Phil was, like, I guess, like, human in Jeffrey's eyes, I guess. And he <laughs> took it upon himself that nigga. to, you know, sacrifice his, oh, his, his, his own thing for the greater good of the family. Facts. Family. Yeah. Okay, so 
The show's over. The show's over. So let, we already know the answer to this, but H, is it a win? I think the episode, I think the to, oh, to, to, tonight's one? episode or today's okay, episode, I think it was really good. Like, I don't know how, I don't know how they keep doing it or who who's writing or who's, I don't know what it is, right? But I feel like it's being portrayed in such a great way that it just continuously gets better every episode. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm biased. I don't know. Look, I keep right. telling people, anybody that I talk to about Bel Air, I tell them. I, I didn't think want this is the show. greatest yeah. show on television right now. Yeah, and you didn't want to see it. You like this show won't be. And I didn't want to watch it. <laughs> I ain't want nothing to do with this show, but I like it though. Yeah, it's really good, man. Um, I think it's a win as well. Like, I, I, go, hold yeah. on. Do you think? Do you think? Good. All right, had to, that was some family yeah. stuff, Link. Ah, uh, Bel Air over there. Okay, yeah, some family <laughs> stuff. Some family stuff, but um, right. <laughs> but so, um, so, yeah. So I think yeah, this, like, I think the show is a win. Yeah, just continues I think, on on the show. Yes, yeah, nine and zero. Oh. They didn't they didn't drop a ball yet, man. I, I, like, I agree with I'm, you. I don't know if it's getting better, but they touching different story plots every episode. It's like th- this episode didn't it even it talked about the father but didn't pursue it it's like no we lou, gonna, he doubt that's crazy lou is gonna be he might that be character here right yeah he might be a next that season. when he comes that when he comes to the like the forefront and it's gonna be like this thing they got they making it big because it's gonna be a grand entrance for this character you gotta remember when we first saw his dad on the original show yeah. how was it it didn't just he didn't, I mean, he popped up, but the way he popped up was like, like, damn, like, okay, Will's dad. I mean, it'd be fair around. to his, for the character who played the dad. He didn't really want that. It just happened. It just happened. <laughs> That's what he you said. Think, oh, what I didn't want this, this man. Is, it just, just happened. happened. <laughs> Why he say it like that, though? He said it like he was doing jazz. I don't, I don't I know. It, man. Uh, I didn't want it, man. It just happened, man. Yeah, I don't understand. Yeah. It's like, it's like the acting, it, it was passionate. But I wonder behind the scenes they went like, why is he moving his hands like that? It just happened, like bro. We needed that. We needed that yeah, because those are things we remember. <laughs> we remember stuff like that. Like I don't know if people. I don't You're know. You're a better if man than me still. Huh? I said it. Your the daddy oh. <laughs> yeah. The nost- yeah. The nostalgia. <laughs> the nostalgia portion of a show like Fresh Prince, comparing it to Bel Air, is like yo. It's like. Yeah. The reason why you fell in love with characters is because you fell in love with characters and the yeah. things they did. Like, why did, like, why was it, why did his dad do that? I don't know, but it was funny. This is good. It was, a, it was serious, but it was funny. This, this show makes me look at everything different. No, the, the idea of a reboot, we had a different idea to this show, Kim. I was like, whoa, you could, how are they making this show good as in they didn't have to use the show before? But using the show before made it. <laughs> no, listen. This is what this is what I this is the conclusion I came to, I came into terms with. Right? They took they took something. Right? They took something. They took something that was already um, immortal. Right? They already they, it's already on a pedestal. Yeah, it's one of the best sitcoms ever. People, one of the best right? ninety shows ever. So what? So what else? So basically, what they I, I look at it like this: you look at it from a different standpoint. Like, what else can be done to it? Not can make it better, but what else can be done to it? Oh, yeah. we could instead of us turning a reboot into a, a comedy, comedy again. Reboot. Yeah, let's just let's whoa, make it a drama. Mm-hmm. Now, with and doing that, you could peel back all the layers to the things. show and to the characters. Imagine, right? Imagine if if the scene that back in the day, like, mind you, Fresh Prince had some dramatic scenes, but imagine if when Will got shot and they and that was a drama? Oh. Bro, Carlton, give me the gun. Like, that would have been deep. That was deep. But imagine how deep, what? Like, like, bro, we talking about situations where, like, bro, we talking about situations in the show that was dramatic, but it was still a comedy. Now, imagine if they now uh, that's what I'm saying. Look where they bringing the drama at now in 2022. It's different. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's special because no show, no show on TV right now. 
I don't no. know how I don't know how they're doing it, bro. It's magic. No. It's like it. It's magic, man. I, I'll be I'll be watching it like how how they doing this because I like it a lot. And, and like you said, like if somebody would have came to you and you didn't watch it, right? Because you didn't want to watch it beginning, so we wasn't doing these reviews. It. I apologize. Yeah, if you didn't want to do the, we wasn't doing the reviews. You probably wouldn't have tuned in right away. Somebody had to tell you about it, but. If they tell you it don't sound fun, oh yeah, Uncle Phil skinny, um, this and this happened because you're gonna be like, all right, it don't sound like my show. You but you had you to go, watch it. You going with the you going with the ideas of what the show used to be. Yeah, Carlton would turn people off. People would be like, you Carlton know, doing what bro, now? I don't want to watch how many, that. Bro, you know how many people in these groups on the internet and on Facebook is saying like, I don't like Carlton. When did Carlton start doing drugs? And then you really got to break it down to him. Yeah. Like, it's not, that's Carlton, but that's not the Carlton you remember. Exactly. It's just it's That's Hillary, take. but that's not the Hillary you remember. That's little Ashley, but that ain't the Ashley yeah. none of us remember. Yeah. So, yeah. in saying that, you have to give them room to grow. Season one, this is going to be unfair, but at the end of season one on this channel, we're going to compare character to character. And say who did okay. it better? Or who did it better? Okay. So actor or act actor or actress? You want to do it like that? Yeah, Will versus Will. Okay. Who's okay. the better Will? Carlton okay. versus Carlton. You know, okay. it, it, you know, one side shift after early season, one, but after, after season, season one, one end, so we can have okay. some fun with it. And then we do the same thing in okay. season two. Now I don't know if we're gonna okay. go deep and say season one compared to season one. It's gonna be hard for us to do that because sorry about that. We've seen too much. We've seen okay. the whole show already. But I think yeah. that'd be fun. They'd be like, you know, who okay, who did it better? I mean, so even though this Jeffrey going win, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I like Jeffrey was Jeffrey. really funny though, so he got he got the bars. But yeah, I like this Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Yeah, but again, like I don't know, we've just been talking, but that's how good the show is, man. It's the show is great. I'm amazed. Like, is... I can't wait to see it. Like I, you know, I'm... no, I'll be waiting. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> like when it's time for it to be pop on, I'll be like, yes. Like, yes. I'd be like, mad when it's I'll about the waiting. end. I'd be like, no, give me more, bro. I, I ain't going to lie. Like, I, man, we we a part of the generation now, though, bro. I can't do the weekly episodes, bro. Spoil you. We spoil you. No, bro. I'm we sitting there like, we man, we grew up like that. We should be used to that. But I'm like, yo, you. I got to wait. Like, I got to wait, wait a week. We got a like week. three more episodes left. I got to wait a week. And, and, and here's the good thing, too, about the show. I got to wait to the end of the season because I don't even know they even had a bad guy. They had things happen. But remember, if we, I said, we got the big bad guy who's going to keep coming back. They killed him. They killed him. They um, killed him off. Carlton is going to be the villain. Then, like you said, Carlton's the villain. But that that's done. Yeah. Carlton, yeah. Carlton is not the villain no more. Nope. But I listen, guess you could right? argue Phil could have been. But after what Phil just did, he's not the villain. I'm so thinking this right? shit just don't have a villain. It's just life. life I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Right. I'm thinking like this. No. Maybe. Maybe there isn't a villain. Right. Michael Ely. What, ab what about? What about Will's dad? What about Will's dad? Who knows? But they, they didn't Who knows? Some. But see, but I don't want to put some. season two. Yeah. Much. I don't want to put that much pressure. Right on a character that hasn't been We've in the show seen. yet. Yeah, because it's like yeah. we have to, because the stuff they said about him, that there's, there's stuff that could hurt the family. That's, that make me like, what did he do? Because even the way his mom said what he was, he's a guy who was doing some scams. He always I heard the family is different. It's like, yeah, what information? And he's still alive. So I was like, we need to know. Now, I guess that's the season finale. We, he might open it up, read it. Um, that might start season two. We don't even know. I have no idea now. I had Listen, ideas before they was going to go. I'm not. You know what I'm not. Uh, I'm not going to do right. Yeah, I had no idea. I, I tried. I, I tried to do some spoilers. Right. It was fun. But, but for the, but for the next episode, nah, I don't have, I have no none. Idea, I have none. I have bro, none. The stuff I said, man. Like um, Uncle, they, they're not, they're, not, they're going to end on a debate because first I thought it was going to end on an election, but they talk about this date. No, no, no. Yeah, now, now. Now Phil has no, now Phil has no room in the in the election. Yeah, so it's, it's like over. what is these cool. last three episodes about? It's like this is different. This is sell out cool. to them, man. That, that, <laughs> I this is well, different. 
I want I want uh I want Vivian's sisters to come. I want Vivian and all her sisters to come to one episode. Well, we got to finish the story with Michael Ely, right? Is that the only story that hasn't been well? Act well. Hillary hasn't told our parents. Yeah, we money. still got that. So, we still got um, Jazz and Hillary. Jazz trying, to, got trying Ash- to knock the boots. We still got uh, Ashley not saying anything to her, yeah, her parents, parents about her curiosity. Know. And Carlton information has to get out. Yeah, and Jeffrey and Jeffrey is is gone temporarily. Hopefully. Yeah, so is he coming back before the season out? Yeah, so that's right. So we got questions. It's a couple questions. We couple got questions, but they 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 ended a lot of the big stuff. Yeah, like, and we got three episodes left, so I guess it's a. Oh, and shout out to H. Um, what I do? Bring the basketball back. He like you know he likes these episodes, but he want to oh, see some well, ball. Yeah, I, I do. <laughs> I like I like hoops, but I see but, that. But we're, he see what we're they leaning, we're leaning more it. towards life. Than, yeah, than yeah, Will yeah. Smith's basketball career. And hooping his life. That's Kevin Durant. <laughs> all, his, all his life. <laughs> exactly. So that that but again, great show, great episode. Thank y'all for watching. Please, man, Always. tune into the other videos. We look forward to the new videos. We try a lot of big stuff on this channel. And H is going to be a big part of it. Um, okay. So, uh, he, oh, you see, uh, he, he cast me. He cast me. Well, already, of course, you know? man. We are, we've been we've been partners for a long time. I'm gonna keep hitting the mic. I've been partners for a long time, anyway. So, these type of videos, the reviews, here, you know, it's easier to do it with somebody who who thinks differently than other people. So, like, you know, you gotta give people their flowers while they're here. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. Definitely when it comes to the hooping, like me, he, he, he knows hey, everything. You know me. Exactly. So ball is life. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. We'll catch y'all next week.